All right, so boom, we outside. I'm back. I got my I got my stuff together. What's Gucci? Um, I'm Papa J. That's what people know me as. Uh, my name is Jonna. A lot of people can't pronounce that, which is why I go by Papa J. Because I was given a mic for a reason. No. You feel me? Because I'm yapping. <laughs> that shit was scary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my pronouns are uh, she, her, they, them, and he. Um, I'm like gender fluid, so sometimes I feel more feminine, sometimes I feel more masculine. But most times I feel like I just fucking exist and I'm just here and because of that I matter, so like, fuck the binary really. I literally feel like I exist as an entity that's purple and that's it. Because sometimes it's scary being me. Because I'm never, I'm always like, fuck, how are people gonna react? Which is another reason why I go by Papa J. I started skating fucking like 15 years ago or like over 15 years ago. Rocket Power, you know, first of all, Rocket Power was like really, really impactful to like the development of who I am. Like, yeah, that shit is sick. I love that. And then like all of those like, I don't know, like empowering like girl movies where like I was able to see somebody who looked like me or had hair like me or like kind of had like the same, uh, I don't know, code switching capabilities as I did, you know, just to like be involved in society kind of. Um, and then going back to those dudes, they would always be like, yo, you can't skate. Like, you're gonna hurt yourself, so you can't skate, you can't do it. I was like, you are literally hurting yourself, but you can do it, but I can't do it. Why can't I do it? And a lot of the time it was because I was a girl to them. So that's kind of like how I exist in the skate world. I try to like help people get to where I was way faster than where, when I was able to. We're going to BBSC, Broken Bones Skate Club, their indoor spot. We're gonna go through this door. Da -na -na. Welcome to BBSC. A little home away from home. I skate here a lot in the winter time when it's like winter time. Fucking Jessica Bailey, I love Jessica Bailey. I was, I was there when uh, Jess went pro for there. There's one of the queer skateboard brands um, that's like really creating a platform for like the non-binary and like the queer and like just the fabulous. I didn't know what was going on. And then they started handing out boards and they were like, okay, hide the boards. And then fucking, I look at the board and Jess is on the board. I'm like, oh my God, she's going pro right now. But she didn't know she was going pro. She was just going in to see the, the video part. It was like an hour long. It was a movie. It was a movie. We were like in this um, movie theater, essentially, watching this shit. It was crazy. <clears throat> and like, they're playing it, they're playing it, and then Justice Park comes up. They cut the tape, they turn on the lights, and everyone's jumping up, yelling, and like screaming Jess's name. And Jess is like, what the fuck is going on? So I was there for that. I gave uh, Fabiano Dolfino a kiss on the cheek this year. I say, like, oh, I really do got a crush on her. It's kind of crazy. First place, non binary. Where's Papa J? Where is Papa J? Get over here. I battled the beach, yo. That shit was sick. I was like, ooh, should I go? And I'm so glad I went. <laughs> I was like, yo, we're gonna go to the beach and we're gonna skate and there's gonna be this event. And like, I showed up and I saw all the homies there. I was like, what the fuck? It's a beach day and it's a skate comp and it's just a jam and it's vibes and there's music. And people are like, it's, it's New York. So people are yelling and shit, you know? It was, it was like, honestly, it was so well put together that like, I wanna go back. <laughs> I didn't even think I was gonna compete, to be honest because I was like, I'm just here to like vibe out and support my friends. And then I was like, I heard that there was the non-binary division. I was like, okay, all right. Anytime there's a non-binary division, I take it upon myself to make sure I enter because it's important to have representation and to have that space held. <laughs> yeah, that shit blew my mind. I was so hyped. I was like, I've never, I, I didn't think that would happen. Like I, it was a, it was a totally random day for me. And I ended up placing first in a non-binary division that like, I was almost not even gonna be like, nobody was gonna sign up, you know? I said, of course I still have my trophy. It's like one of my prized possessions, honestly. I was like, yo, this is like, this is like legit. It's gold. Yo, I just learned a new, a new phrase. They was like, you wanna do it? I was like, what the fuck does that mean? I said I was, she said, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 you just taught me something. Like, this is legit. Like. I don't know, I didn't know this. Um, 
I was like, yo, where do you get that from? They were like, yo, you want to deuce it? I was like, what the fuck does that mean? They were like, yo, do you want the rest? Like, I'm almost done. You can have the other half. So deuce it. Like, you know, split it in half. I ain't never heard that shit before. Space is hard to take up. You know, like, space is hard to take up. It's there. But sometimes it's really fucking hard to take up and, like, to feel like you have the right to take that up, right? Because, like, we all take turns when we're skating, you know, one after the other, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes, like, you gotta get your confidence to be able to go when it's your turn in the rotation. Sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. And if you don't have that confidence to just try, like, you keep getting, like, snaked and then you feel like, oh, I, I can't go because I'm, like, maybe invisible or, like, I'm not good enough to try right now because people are popping ollies or, like, fucking back tailing shit or, like, front, you know what I mean? Like, that's very intimidating. Roll away, bolts, I can feel it. Oh! oh! You got it. You're doing so good. Yes, please have some beverage. Please hydrate yourself. You got the shit. Right here. Boom. That speed. Pop. Bam! Ah! Fuck yeah! Are you kidding me? That was awesome. I'm so proud of you. But to have an existence slash a skate park where people can be front tails, back tail, kit flips and shits, but also learning how to carve, it's kind of hard sometimes. Cause it's like that mental block of like, ah shit, all of these people are doing these crazy things and like, I can't do that, so am I supposed to be here? Yes, you're supposed to be here. Because they started where you started. We all started there, not knowing what the fuck we were doing, just wanted to play with a toy and be outside in the sun, you know? But that right there, that mentality of like letting people know that they have the right to take up the space, that's what I try to contribute to skateboarding, to the skate scene right now, consistently, wherever I go in the world. Cause like, right at this point in my skate ability, I feel really confident. Like, I'll hang with the big boys, feel me? Like, I'll hang with the fuckers who are like blasting airs and shit. Like, I'll do my little boop, I'll leave over the hip or whatever. I'll do it, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna work at it. We're outside of a KCDC skate shop right now. Um, it's owned by Amy Ellington. She's like an amazing human being. She's also owned KCDC as long as it's been around. Oh, Amy. Oh, hello there. What the heck? I was just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Oh, happy belated. Thank you. How was it? Amazing. I yeah. DJed. It was fun. Oh. I actually, a couple years ago, did a, like, a skate event at Fat Kid Skate Park, and KCDC was one of the people slash groups who decided to back my little event and give us some raffle prizes so that we can give back to the community for free. Like, I just asked, and they were like, yeah, for sure, why not? KCDC has been in existence and has been a space that I've been going to since I've been really young and like it's kind of always been there throughout my skate career and it's like one right now it's like a really queer space a lot of the people who work there are uh, non-binary gender fluid people and like they're really beautiful beings like look this is on the door yeah they're actually closing down you can see the like available for rent sign on the wall like all good things, uh, some things just have to come to an end. Oh yeah, they just got their own Baker board too. Their Baker collab. This is the the KCDC, KCDC Nike SB Dunk. That's a mouthful. This place is like super important to me slash I think the whole New York City skate community. The way I try to exist in the skate world, yo, a squirrel just jumped from that tree to that tree. That shit was crazy. My bad. I exist to create bridges and like let people see themselves in ways that they could never see themselves before. Like growing up, I didn't see no black girls skating. I didn't see no black queer people skating, you know? They were there, but I didn't see them. They weren't in my circles, in my areas. So what I try to do is I try to be outside. I try to be as friendly as possible and let people know that they have the, all the rights to exist in the space of skateboarding as long as they're willing to try to expand and to understand, really. Like, expand what you're trying to do for yourself and understand that other people are trying to do the same thing. And it looks different. Some people might do it in like a very like peaceful way. Other people might fucking toss their board and then get their trick. You know what I mean? Like, skateboarding is just so universal and like so many different people come together. You eat my gum. Y'all both eat my gum. 
What the hell? That's like my fruit from the other day, goddammit. Y'all finna feed me later, goddammit. Fuck off. That's crazy. Y'all lucky I fuck with y'all. That's why I didn't tell the whole class I had gum. Cause everyone would be PC, PC, PC. I'd be like, fuck you, pay me. I think what's happening now, which is really unique, and what didn't really happen back in the day, is that women skaters and queer skaters are being treated as skaters. Women back back in the day, for me, the ones that I saw were like the half naked women on bottom on the bottoms of people's boards, you know. And then it would be like, oh shit, is that the only way that I could exist in skating? And I think that's like kind of what like a lot of parents would think, like, oh. You're gonna, you're gonna go skating, you're gonna be naked and like posing for pictures that are gonna end up on boards and shit. The skate scene uh, has changed so much right now because outside of just like us being seen, we're also being given more opportunities to be seen, more platforms to be seen. We're getting interviews, we're, get, we're making our own magazines, we're getting in magazines, we're getting on Thrasher now more so. There's only like fucking nine or ten women thrasher covers to ever be printed. Two pieces of advice, bend your knees more than you think. And honestly, just keep trying. Skateboarding is the, the reject sport. We're here because we're awkward, because we are society, society like not normal. But what the fuck is normal? You win some, you lose some.